this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to, or I'm going to show you the basics of creating a halftone gradient in CorelDRAW. Um, I'm using CorelDRAW 2018, so some features might be in different places or labeled differently in if you're using a newer version, say 2020 or 2021, 2022 version of CorelDRAW, so um, just be aware of that and pause the video if you need to to find where your feature that I'm showing is located. Um, all right. So to get started, we're just gonna create a just a simple circle, just holding down Control as you drag out. And we're going to fill it with black using the left mouse button. Then we want to get rid of the, the stroke on it. So just right click the little X box here. So then you can confirm that you don't have a stroke down in the right corner here. It shows none. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we are going to convert this circle. Uh, well, first make sure that it is solid black. Then we're going to convert it to bitmap by either hitting K on the keyboard or up at the top here under bitmaps, just convert to bitmap. And we want to change the color mode to grayscale um, because we don't want, for this tutorial, we don't want a color halftone. We just want black and white half tone effect so we want to make sure our bitmap is grayscale um, you can either leave check transparent background or uncheck it we're gonna do something later um, actually we're gonna leave it checked for the purposes of this um, and my resolution is 300 dpi. Uh, once you have those set, just go ahead and click OK. Next thing we want to do is, with it still selected, go to bitmaps. And we want to blur it using the Gaussian blur. And we want to give it a pretty good blur. So just adjust your radius. And we want a really good blur just so that we get a nice uh, actually not quite that much we don't want it to we don't want the blur to go all the way to the edge of the, uh, the border of the image so we get a hard line we want to have white space between it just so we don't get a a cut off uh, the halftone effect doesn't get cut off at a hard edge. So for me, mine's at about 98.3 pixels and got a nice, nice blur with uh, some white color between the edges. So once that's done, I'll just go ahead and click OK. Let's move that in here. The next thing uh, with it still, once that's done, we're going to go back to bitmap and we're going to color transform and this is where the, the halftone effect is located in my my version of Corel so go ahead and click that uh, actually cancel that quick I'm going to zoom in just so we can better see the the dots so go back up and color transform halftone and so uh, the, if you just want a standard kind of uh, halftone effect, just leave the, the degrees for the black at 45. And this max dot radius, you can adjust up or down, and it adjusts the size of your uh, halftone effect. Um, I kind of want just a, a large effect, so I'm just going to scale it all the way up to 10 on mine. Uh, you can adjust it however you see fit, um, but for this one, I'm going to go with 10, and then click OK. 
and there we have a the first part of creating a halftone effect. Now, right now it is still a grayscale bitmap image, so you can't do any sort of um, adjustment to it. You just have to use it as is. Um, so, like if you wanted to use it in conjunction with, say, another color image um, below it, um, it will just be black uh, on top of the red here. Um, and part of when we originally converted it to bitmap and had the transparency selected, it changed every all the white parts to transparency um, so now you can again use it as is but if you want to take this bitmap and adjust the colors of it we're going we can do that um, we're just going to duplicate it over here so we're going to take the bitmap that we created and we're going to bitmap it again except this time for the color mode we want to change to black and white once that's done go ahead and click OK and now we get a white background with our pure black uh, halftone but now that it is a monochrome image you can use your left and right mouse button to change the colors of the image. So the left mouse button changes the the white parts, the background essentially. So just play around clicking left on the colors here. But you you can also add transparency by left clicking on the X. And so now that all that white part is transparent, and so now if we change the, use the right mouse button to click on the colors, we can change the color of the black to whatever color we need. You know, it's a fun, it's a fun little effect uh, that you can use to, for whatever project you may be working on. Um, but the one. The one problem that we have here is that it is still a bitmap image, so if by chance you need to scale up the the uh, halftone part, you're going to st start getting kind of pixelated resolution when you scale it up because it's it's a bitmap image; it's not vector, so. One way to get around this is if we switch this back to black, we can take this image and we will go back up to bitmap and we're going to go to outline trace and we want low quality image. With it being monochrome, monochrome, a monochrome image, it will just register the tracing of the black and the white colors and it will remove the white part, the transparency part, and just leave you with the vectors of the black part, the black dots. Once once this is done calculating, just go ahead and click OK. And now we have a vector version of that bitmap image, of that bitmap halftone effect. The one thing to be aware of is the tracing isn't perfect. Like you're not going to get perfect circles because it's trying to trace this pixelated, the pixelated dots of the bitmap image. So when you look, when you zoom in on the vector version, you can see how kind of 
shoddy I guess the <laughs> tracing calculations are but if you're like at this at this scale this depth like you can't tell that they're not little circles so just so if you're say working on a project for like a billboard or a large screen or something uh, you know it's not going to be noticed by the the human eye um, but with a vector you can scale it up or down and it will maintain its resolution um, so with that we're just going to delete that and we'll delete uh, actually uh, actually I'll do that we'll just create a new page so now we'll just do some other kind of effects and I'll show you actually I'll show you uh, one thing to to be aware of so if we if we make a circle um, and we hit G on the keyboard to bring up our gradient tool and we'll just switch it to a fountain gradient and we'll switch to the the elliptical fountain fill here so that we get an kind of inner I'll make, uh, I'll do that um, so now with this actually we'll do this just for comparison so uh, we'll take the original circle we'll hit K to bitmap it again make sure it's grayscale um, just leave the transparent background checked for now and we'll click OK and so I'm not gonna Gaussian blur this because I want a, a solid kind of gradient halftone border or edge um, so we'll just go back up to bitmap and halftone and we'll just click OK and so we have our gradient halftone, you know, going from dark to light towards the center. But you'll notice the the left, right, and top, bottom edges near where the circle hit the the border of the image on the sides here. We don't get a consistent half tone going all the way around. We get a hard cutoff. So, in order to avoid this, we're going to create a a square, and we'll just select both and center them up, and we'll take the the, the uh, square that we just created and we want just a no fill and no outline so that it's just essentially a blank placeholder object but what that's going to do is when we select both and bitmap them grayscale now our our border edge is out here instead of right at the edge of the circle. So bitmap that. So now when we go up to the color transform and halftone and we click OK to bitmap, now we just we don't get that hard cutoff edge on the left, right, and top and bottom. We get a consistent halftone effect all the way around the circle. Um, so it's just one of those things that you you figure out once the, after the first time you're like I don't want this hard edge uh, so that is how you can get around that happening um, so then you know then you know you can start playing with your uh, your gradient so if we do what if we want a Half tone, okay. Elliptical. Now we can just play with 
the effect we're we're going for. Um, let's get this way off. Just to so we want the white right at the tip, just so we get that. Can make it a little more elliptical. And we'll make our square. Take away the fill and the outline. So we'll bitmap these. Okay. Go back up to color transform, halftone. So now we can start getting different effects where we get a, a light source from the top, or if you want to do a horizontal uh, gradient like that we'll do this time we'll just do the straight linear we'll go top to bottom and just hit map this grayscale do half tone okay so now we get the, just a horizontal bar, half tone. Uh, so you can uh, play around with the, the different settings in the, um, the half tone um, effect here. Just you can play with the angle of the dots, the size of the, the dots in the half tone pattern. Um, but yeah, once once you kind of understand the the basics of creating a, a half tone pattern, um, you can use it to great effect for whatever you may be working on. Um, yeah, I uh, hope uh, you like this quick tutorial, and hopefully you can use it to your advantage and great effect in what you're working on. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share the video. Um, yeah, there'll be more tutorials down the road. And yeah, have fun uh, creating.